Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere in the Portland, Oregon area with the frauditor known as Robert West as he attempts to frauded a Social Security Administration building. But it doesn't exactly work out for him in the long run. He ends up getting trespassed and uh, cited ba on the basis of the U.S. versus Christopher Cordova. That's right. A frauditor's dream has come true. His name has been attached to case law. And, uh, well, now it's not working out so well for other frauditors because of it. Congratulations, you're all a bunch of morons. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. This is Bob. I'm up in the conference area. Checking out all these little signs and stuff. They're non-description policy. I'm sorry, uh, dude. Did you say non-description policy? Uh, let's check that out to see for ourselves right quick. They're non-description policy. Now it's becoming more clear as to why you won't be able to understand the CFR a little bit later on. Uh, your reading comprehension skills must be very piss poor at best. But let's carry on, shall we? This is a hearing room. Yes, sir. This is a hearing room. Yeah. So in the facility here, we don't allow the recording. The oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So there's no recording here. There isn't. No. Uh, no one's told me that. Let me go and get my supervisor. Okay. So, sir. Yeah. Can you come over here? Right here. What? Uh, okay. Can you show me the law? Uh, I can't. I just, unfortunately, they're saying that. There's, they're not allowed to do any recording. This office. Okay, well, I just seen a sign out there that said I can. Oh, uh, where at? On the DHS memo that's hanging out there. Unless there's a court order or, or a law that says you can't do it. Photography and news. You really should try reading the whole damn thing. It's uh, saying for photographs, for news, uh, just read it. Just read it, dude, and you'll understand. In fact, I'll read it for you. Photographs for news, advertising, or commercial purposes, according to 41 CFR 201-74.420, Four two zero, except where security regulations, rules, or directives apply, uh, or a federal court order or rule prohibits it. Uh, persons entering in or on federal property may take photographs of spaces occupied by a tenant agency for non-commercial purposes only with the permission of the occupying tenant. B. Spaces occupied by a tenant for commercial purposes only with the written permission of an authorized official for of the occupying agency concerned. And buildings, entrances, lobbies, foyers, or corridors, auditoriums for news purposes, which basically means that's included right there for those two, so you still have to have permission, dude. I mean, you you really need to read this thing instead of, oh, for news purposes and think that it means, well, you can go ahead and do it. Try actually reading it. And it says, rules, orders, or directives apply for federal court. Rules prohibited. So they'll, they're, he's government supervisor. Okay. But according to that, I can film in there, just like post offices. 
You really are a moron, aren't you? Poster 7 pretty much reads about the same way. A few words different here and there, but it still essentially has the same meaning. Essentially, you need permission from the local postmaster or installation head, according to Poster 7. So, uh, get your head out of your damn ass and actually learn how to do some reading comprehension, dude. It might be beneficial for you. A little longer than a few minutes later. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna have to ask you to pre stop recording. Is there a federal law that says I can't record, or is it just a federal rule? The CFRs are a federal law, you freaking moron. Just ask Christopher Cordova. He found out the hard way, and now he'll be remembered in uh, the annals of frauding history for helping to bring it into this kind of BS. I mean, thanks to Christopher Cordova. Prosecutors now have a case law that they can fall back on to stop harassing the lower level employees who have nothing to do with your grievances that you like to throw on the government. You see, I understand what that's what that says, but there's a sign out there that says that I can videotape all four years areas in uh Let's take a look at it. Okay. Right here. Photographs for news, advertised or commercial purposes. Okay, so building entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums. So that's this space. That's mm -hmm. not our reception area. Well, that's a lobby area. That's our reception area. But it's also a lobby. We have members of the public. Yeah. And and that's why we can have this area, but not that area. Well, the, the, according to this, I can do that area too. I, I disagree with your interpretation. You do. And so either we can cut the recording or I'm going to ask you to leave and I'll talk to the judge and ask to postpone your hearing. Okay. Um, so if I don't leave, then I'm going to be punished by postponing my hearing. I, you can stay and stop recording in our reception area. Mm -hmm. Or if you disagree with that, then we're going to have to postpone your hearing today. Well, I disagree with it because of the law, because the law right here. <laughs> I'm sorry. It says, um, where is that? Uh, dude, I'm just wondering uh, what's your reading level at because, well, this is simple enough for a fifth grader to understand. At this point, I would assume that uh, your reading level is probably that of a second grader. No offense to any second graders. I mean, I've seen second graders who have great reading comprehension skills in my time. But this guy just doesn't have the goods to read and comprehend much of anything. Now, we're going to watch a little bit more of his uh, circular reasoning and uh, then jump all the way close to the end where a officer decides to quote the uh, Cordova case law that has recently become quite popular. So let's roll the be that beautiful bean footage. Someone also started also right here. This is a whole matter section for the Social Security itself. Yeah, that's that that's that's a government rule. That's not a federal law. This is a federal law right here. Yeah. So is this code of federal reg regulations? So, what what would you like to do? Either cease recording, or we can postpone your hearing. Well, this says here I can request for permission to video record. Denied. So, what? You also have to request it by emailing it to that. Mm hmm. 
But yeah, I was looking at this right here where it talks about all the foyers and stuff like that. Space occupied by the tenant. Okay, space is occupied by the tenant, agency, commercial purposes. Building entrance, lobbies, and that's a lobby. Foyer, corridors. So, but, so you're saying that that's not a lobby. I'm saying you cannot record in that area. Okay, but in the hallway I can. Because Social Security doesn't own the hallway. So I can stand out here and film. You freaking moron. They run those offices, and according to the CFR, the occupying agency does have authority to actually try reading it instead of, oh, blah, 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 blah. so let's just go ahead and skip to the point where one of the officers shows up and, uh, well, ruins this guy's world. Many, many minutes later. Ugh. Might we do it on the sidewalk instead of in the street? <laughs> I know. I just didn't want to talk to you while cars were going by. Well, I get that. <laughs> so here's the deal, man. You can't be filming in there. Okay. You know it. Well, I no, know. I I checked the rule and it said for security reasons. If there's security reasons. Oh, okay, dumb nuts. Uh, why don't you enlighten us on? What security reasons give you the authorization to film inside of there? I mean, enlighten us, please, because inquiring minds would like to know what's inside the mind of a moronic frauditor. So have you seen case law, U.S. versus Cordova? No. I would highly recommend you look into that. Okay. Yeah, uh, like he looked into this. I mean, his uh, reading skills are about on par with a, a piece of granite because you know you're gonna have to take a sledgehammer to do anything to that oh my goodness this guy's a moron so is that a summons it's gonna be a citation what's that like a ticket it's basically like a parking ticket it's a federal it's a so where you be charged today is Failure to conform with signage and directions. Mm -hmm. Post, so the CFR in there, that's actually federal law. I don't know if you know that. Mm -hmm. But violating that is an actual violation of federal law. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I know the PSO in there, he told you no. He told you you can't be filming in there, right? He yeah. You notice, right? Yeah, he said that. Okay. But I also showed them on the on that rules thing out there where, where it said you can. Again, I'd highly recommend you look into uh, U.S. versus Cordova. That's going to kind of tell you what the difference between a tenant-controlled space is and a lobby. <laughs> and you showed them nothing, really, dude. I mean, they read the CFR in its proper context. You tried to cherry pick it, which is a common trait among you uh, frauditors to cherry pick anything. In fact, cherry picking in any context, whether it be flat earthers or other uh, fields, it's just really academic academically dishonest to begin with but what do you expect from uh from scumbags like this who are quite poorly educated in that kind of thing i mean you can't expect too much out of them i mean you see how pathetically piss poor his reading skills are but let's carry on shall we okay I'm out with that. How have things been, Mr. West? Been been all right. Just all right? Yep. 
Where are you living these days, Mr. West? Same place. You know what? I am just going to end it right here. I mean, before he doxes himself. But seriously, dude, your reading comprehension skills uh, really need to be checked out by a professional educator. And you seriously need to improve on them. That's if this is not an, an attempt to, uh, well, like I said, be completely dishonest like a lot of you First Amendment auditors are. I mean, the majority of you are nothing but con men, scumbags to the core. And if that's what you are, well, uh, you still might want to improve your reading skills because, well, I've seen kindergartners read better than that. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?